There'll be more adventures of Rosie coming after we cross over to Tala to see who we've seen back in 2013. I like your color pink. <laughs> Thanks. This is a little travel barbecue set. I just set it up on the ground because I can't really light it in the new car. Now, as I just put the camera down, not too close, um, I wasn't talking to you, ma'am. As I put the camera down, not too close, you may see this little wheel. That's where the flame comes out and it boils this kettle. <coughs> yeah, you got enough water in it? Yeah. Great. That's all of the water from this can. Oh, the I container. See. Okay. Tumbler in here one? I've done Queen it. of Family history. Can you tell us about this barbecue set? I've already explained how to work it. Oh, that looks good, Chris. We're going to get our coffee ready. Um, um, can you tell the camera where did you get this from? Uh, K and D. Mm, that's our local shop. I just explained to them of how you work it. Can you explain that part, the can? I was looking for one for ages. That, you know, like a billy, but one with a spout. So it was easy to pour. And I was in this um, small town general store type place one day, and there it was. And I thought, brilliant. Um, um, about this can the oil to get the flame going. You were to explain to the camera about how you get it connected. Yeah, it's just automatic. I've already set it up and just locked it. Wow, no, I'm getting wet! One of Tasmania's bushy locations is 
the Tara village. Back in the young days, there used to be wooden tracks, but metal is popular. The line used to be big, but goes to a cut-off junction leading to Faro siding and back to Tara. Now, why are we here? Well, we're taking a look at an English two-foot or narrow gauge chain built in 1921. This is Wee Georgie Wood. He was taken to Tanner in 1924. He started with taking trucks, bringing in food and drinks. Next, coaches which he's still doing it today. But tough times came when his sister, we Mary Wood, was giving her part to a brother. Later, she was scrapped. His time was tough too, as he worked himself to the frames, and in 1964, he got put in the museum in Zin the next time. Now, in the 80s, a society was made. Graham started with George's comeback, and this is how the line looks today. Sadly, we George broke down in 2010 or 2011. He was taken apart to have a new boiler fitted, which took months. Years later, he was restored and has a spark catcher like how he looks now, thanks to my support and a company called Venture Minerals. As we arrived, we noticed we Georgie was not ready. Why is he not out? It's inspection day. Every year, the engine has its parts checked, and to our relief, it was a pipe needing a mend. We'll have to wait for Monday. Oh, oh. I'm not the only one that supported the Georgia Wood folks. There's a company called Venture Minerals. Now this is a pipe. And it goes in that tap. All it does is spit out the steam. I'm not unionized. Not joking. The shed's locked, so I'm not allowed in there. That was last night I was here. Everyone knows a diesel is involved in life. This is Romeo, built in Italy, 1925. He shared his service during Wee George's illness. This rusty engine has been a rusting hulk for years. It has no parts in the cab, but its future is unknown, so there's not much to tell.
hammered tavern. Remember seeing that when I did cars for? Mmm. That's a nice place to have some coffee. Mount Farrell Lake Herbert Walking Track. <laughs> That's a walking track there. I haven't been along there for years. This is a nice walkway. Looks like things are getting ready. I remember climbing aboard this cab of this engine. Where I unfortunately ran into some cobwebs. Look at the holes in the tank. Ooh, that looks like fun for children. Some holes in the cab roof? They weren't discovered from me before. With George's whole boiler, which has been taken off. Yak! Moss! This is the inside part where the oil tubes are put. And this is the smoke box part. With a puddle. Behind the shed is some pictures of other engines apart from me, Georgie. There's Ida Bay, Redwater Creek, Soldiers had sacrificed themselves during the war times. After waiting, we Georgie is in steam so we can ride his train. One of them's Ron, that's the Ferenter driver. What kind of object is this, with wheels? There's a third coach that's in restoration. Doesn't look finished yet. I showed you the truck that I couldn't push. <laughs> Wasn't really strong enough I was. But it's not heavy for an engine.
Oh, I am not get the dog boy. I'm not one to get off. <laughs> I was walking on and I heard all the commotion and one come out screaming where something's up so I'm like what? And they're like oh they can stab so I stayed down with them because I was covered in blood the cops automatically thought that I was causing shit. Now as we board the train we'll look in the station to see a collection of the engine's history. Look at the photo of how he looks when in a non plain black colour. That's during his last days, which is in the past. What? Where's the engine? Oh, there he is. Coming back over. He's going to put another carriage on. Oh, he's getting another coach. Get too close when he's moving. Oh, I 
He was getting a second coach for these people on the bus. <laughs> Oh, oh, careful, Ron. You almost got run over.
now are broken, make sure you join the ride. Couple parts today, and uh, yeah, like you used to go to Boko Siding originally. Yeah, I went up there to Steam Festival Sheffield there a couple weeks ago. That was great. As our visit comes to an end, we'll say goodbye to each other. We hope he runs well in this new year. Plus my letter to help raise money. We may not return to Rose's years. We hope you've enjoyed a day out with We Georgie World. That was for Thomas, number one fan, 2003. If you're watching this, Papa, hope you like it. And the great voicing on the Rosie. <laughs> if you go now, Rosie, your branch night's waiting. Come on and travel around the world Cause I'm the wanderer 